Hello friends, Misha Crossing here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through my beginner's video game streaming slash recording setup. Now this isn't all of the equipment I started out with. Uh, I started out with worse equipment than this, but everything I have now is what I would recommend for a beginner to save up to. I wouldn't go for anything any cheaper or uh, lower quality than this. It's not worth it. Your videos will thank you. You can look back at my first videos uh, of my 3DS gameplay. They were pretty crappy quality compared to what they are now. So I would recommend saving your pennies and getting a little bit better equipment. I'll be making another video walking you through how I record and stream my gameplay, but this is just all of the kind of technical equipment that I use and everything will be linked in the description box. First up, the computer. Yes, it is an iMac and then I have a second monitor, which is a, just kind of a standard HP monitor, but I wouldn't recommend getting an iMac if you're going to be streaming. It just can't handle streaming like high action games, definitely not at 1080p or 60 frames per second. Like this thing barely streams my 3DS gameplay in Animal Crossing without dropping frames. So if you're going to stream, I would recommend just going ahead and getting a PC. That's what I'm saving up for right now. But if you're just going to be recording gameplay videos and you really like Macs, then this will be all right for you. The microphone I use is the Audio-Technica AT2020, and it's just a really solid condenser microphone. It's going to eliminate a lot of the background noise around you as long as you have it kind of up close to your mouth. Works great for video game commentary. This mixer down here, it's a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. So I just have my microphone plugged into it with the XLR cable. Uh, the gameplay audio goes through this cable, whether it's from the Switch or the 3DS. Um, and then my headphones come out right here. Uh, just to clarify, I don't record the audio with the switch through the auxiliary cable. It goes to the HDMI for that, but uh, for my 3DS gameplay, it does go through the auxiliary cable. The consoles that I stream and record from are sitting over here. I've got my 3DS XL. Uh, this I purchased from Katsu Kitty or 3DSVideoCapture.com. They installed a capture card inside the 3DS and then also installed this micro SD port back here so it can be plugged into my computer. And like I said, I'll walk you through how I record and stream for my 3DS in another video. And here is my Switch. It plugs into this second monitor here whenever I'm playing on it uh, with an HDMI cable, uh, which the HDMI cable is plugged into an Elgato HD60. It is a capture card for HDMI consoles. You can plug it into a Switch, a PS4, an Xbox, and it has its own software for recording and streaming, or you can use your own software if you want to. I know this was a pretty quick overview, but like I said, it's a beginner setup. It's a little bit more expensive than what some people start out with but this is what I would definitely recommend you aiming for before you actually start streaming or making your YouTube videos. And as I said, all the equipment is linked in the description box. Let me know if you have any questions and look out for the video on how I record and stream my 3DS gameplay. You'll have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.